Hey guys, and welcome back to Sims 2. So we are back in Clayfield, and today we are going to continue more with the Shepherd family. And we are actually going to focus more on uh, Benjamin's wife, Manda, and uh, check her business. But yeah guys, uh, since we were last here, some things have changed. And the most noticeable thing is that uh, the family has grown quite a lot. Yeah, so uh, Manda actually gave birth to twin boys and uh, little Maddie, little Madeline grew up to a child. So let's see inside. First of all, I want to show you Maddie because she's so cute. She's such a cutie pie. Yeah, so cute. Oh, so cool. <laughs> and she makes the cute, curious faces too. Okay, let's have a good look at uh, look of her. There she is. And uh, yeah, let's see. So Maddie's uh, th third trade is frugal. And uh, yeah, so. Manda did indeed give birth to twin boys and both both of them are now very stinky and Ben is tending to them. But the first boy is called Moses and I think he will go by Mo <laughs> from now on. He is very sloppy, outgoing, active, uh, kind of serious and super nice. And Moses is uh, traits are adventurous and unflirty and his brother is called Noah and Noah is eco-friendly like his dad and a techn technology lover uh, that he got from his mom and uh, Noah is quite sloppy but not as much as his brother and he's also uh, kind of shy so the opposite of uh, Mo, who is outgoing, and he's also uh, pretty active and quite serious and super nice, as as is his brother. So yeah, Ben is Ben has just returned from the work, as I said in the previous episode. Ben is currently working as a hospital chaplain, uh, as well as of course uh, tending to his own to his church and working as a um, prison chaplain. So yeah, he, he really does it all. But anyway, today we are going to actually send Manda to her business, which is the therapy center here, here in Clayfield. So I'll just uh, let her finish her meal and I'll bring you back when we are at the lot. Okay guys, welcome to the healing house. And yeah, so this is uh, Manda's little therapy center. It's actually free for all sims. There is no no cost to <laughs> get therapy in Clayfield. And yeah, let's see inside. It's a very simple little building. It's only a uh, one by one lot. And in th on the first floor, we have the waiting uh, waiting room, lobby area, here, and let's see. So yeah, this is th the uh, desk for the receptionist, and there's some magazines for the patients who are waiting, and the notice board for all kinds of events in Clayfield and of course some vending machines and the toilets and on the second floor there is two rooms this is Amanda's private office where she can give uh, individual therapy for sims and there is also a room for group therapy uh, sessions so and this is uh, supposed to be Amanda's chair, the blue one right there. So yeah, 
and and uh, of course another waiting room area upstairs too and uh yeah the idea of this lot and uh, manda's profession actually came uh, from the game functions or the um features and those are the special um things that sims can study and i think this came with uh, apartment life and those are uh, you know parenting fire safety anger management life zone, lifelong happiness physiology and um couples counseling and i really wanted to incorporate these skills somehow with manda when i was uh, thinking about her what kind of sim she is what kind of um, career I want to give her and yeah so Manda runs this <laughs> therapy center and she works as a uh, well I guess it's kind of a general therapist or counselor and uh, the way that she actually uh, studies or um, trains to be a a more advanced uh, therapist I guess um, is by studying these skills so she has already mastered the skill of couples counseling and she has to study anger management life lifelong happiness and perhaps some physiology too because that's just you know gives the general idea of how the how the sim body and the mind works I guess <laughs> Yeah, we just have to use our imagination a little bit. But yeah, so uh, I guess she's currently a, a therapist in training. Uh, so that means that she will definitely need to study and master at least anger man management and lifelong happiness uh, skills as well. So she's getting there. But uh, for now she can actually... Uh, she can... Um, she can work as a qualified uh, couples counselor. So yeah, let's just uh, open the business and see who who's going to come by and get some therapy. And ah, this lot actually, guys, um, I really enjoy this lot because you know it's obviously just for storyline purposes. And those are the little th uh, details that actually entertain me quite a lot in Clayfield and this lot is one of those one of those things so um, let's see we could actually yeah her hunger is little little down and actually I need to quickly put the music on and let's have some background music um, There, there is the uh, stereo. Yeah, guys. So I haven't used any um, any other background music for a while because um, my uh, program. I was actually playing um, a Windows uh, media player in the background when I was uh, playing the music earlier, and I decided not to use it anymore because it was. Uh, tasking my computer a little too much so um, so yeah we are going to listen to the sim sim radio and uh, let's have Amanda get some sushi and oh Celeste is here and let's see I have a feeling that I Oops. Let's see. Yeah, I set the business type for relaxation. So that means that sims who are coming here will have um, automatically their uh, comfort only halfway. Uh, so they will look for seats. And that is also a good way to get sims uh, sit in the uh, group, group uh, therapy room here or use the recliner in Amanda's office so uh, that way I, I know that there are some some sims who are needing to where are you going girl Unlock. 
who will need to um, have therapy. Well, I guess she wanted to eat her sushi <laughs> back there. That's weird. Oh! Yeah, it looks like we have a, a group oh, therapy session hard. starting here. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, I guess it's a women's group. Women of all ages. Okay. Let's see, what is it? What is she doing? Oh, she's still eating. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely a women's group. Okay, sit down. They are just crying here. Okay. Okay, Ida is there. Okay, so there is at least... Oh no! <laughs> Honey Bear is uh, doing this muzzle. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's... Let's have Manda uh, clean her dishes and come to the... To the uh, therapy room. So yeah guys, this is one of those businesses that I I had quite a lot of fun uh, planning and decorating. Okay, so I guess I just got sick of the waiting. <laughs> okay, let's see if there are still some sims coming here. And you can just sit there. Okay. Why don't you sit down? Aha. Okay, it looks like Celeste is uh Celeste is waiting there already. And you know what? I'm just going to turn your autonomy off. There you go. Okay, so Celeste is coming to therapy. And stop whining. Oh yeah, I think it's her need that she's whining about. Yeah, so I guess uh, Celeste is here to talk about some some work related stress it looks like it just have a quick uh, screenshot of this oh yes work can, can be very stressful I guess they are talking about office work. Yes, this is definitely a work related <laughs> therapy session. <laughs> oh, yes, very stressful. It's so demanding. Okay, let's see what's happening uh, downstairs. Okay, so <laughs> I guess we are having some kind of a stress relieving party going on. Okay, I'm not sure if that was a good idea to, <laughs> to put the radio on. Oh, and Honeybear decided to join the, uh, the therapy. Okay, and clearly the subject have, has changed into some other therapy issues. Some couples therapy, therapy perhaps, and then recycling. No, Honeybear doesn't like to recycle. At least what comes to garbage. She does recycle her lovers quite a lot. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh goodness. Are there any lights here? Why is it so dark? There is a light. That was weird. Okay, now it's better. So yeah, this is basically how Amanda's uh, business works. She gives therapy to sims who come here, of course, voluntarily and sit here and uh, discuss about all the things that are happening in their lives and um, their problems. And sometimes the their problems seem to be quite silly. <laughs> And Ida is here too. Yeah, took a new. Jolene to Barsnava, Lenji Blata. So yeah, it's a ladies' uh, therapy session. <laughs> therapy for everyone. And yeah, so Sims can get some snacks here while they are waiting. And uh, yeah, so Mada actually gives therapy. Therapies to all uh, age groups. Sometimes she is uh, giving therapy to teens, spe uh, specifically. And I have seen a men's group here too. And sometimes it's a mix of all, all uh, kinds of sims, all ages and all genders. So yeah, I'm glad that my sims have a place where to vent and get some therapy now. And actually while we are here... Okay, this is just decorated. Let's, let's um change it a little bit. Okay, there you go. No, what did I do? Okay, I guess that's fine. So yeah, now Sims can attend to their needs a little better. And Honeybear decided to do some Tai Chi here. Hmm. Okay, Tyson, why don't you just pull up a chair and and join us? You seem to need some therapy too. Yeah, I guess Amanda is talking about um, taking time to appreciate the simple things in life, like flowers and weird uh, elderly ladies doing Tai Chi while you are talking about your problems. Yeah, and worrying about the global war warming. <laughs> and recycling, yes. All kinds of troubles. Ravelet, very blank. Probably not. Ah, oh, Rooney Pentality. <laughs> but it seems like the group therapy session is is going pretty nicely. No arguments yet. At least nothing too serious. And no one seems to need any uh, individual counseling right now. I have seen seen Sims go to uh, Amanda's office and sit in the recliner, which of course means that they have some. Oh, good, rank one. And yeah, let's let's have the money reward. Yeah, so I, I have seen Amanda give some uh, individual therapy for Sims 2. 
But these girls here look just a little bit out of place. And no, we don't need any more of this, thank you. <laughs> no, that was funny. Honeybear actually ran all the way from uh, upstairs to the bathroom. I guess she really needed to pee pee. And yeah, the stress of uh, raising kids and hoping for some brighter future seems to be the issue tonight's therapist in tonight's therapist session. Yeah, everyone needs to have something magical in their lives now and then, and to maintain good relationships. And avoid bladder failure, apparently. Oh, ham flat. Yeah, Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say about uh, the subjects of subjects getting a little bit silly sometimes? But you know, guys, this is Sims. This is the Sims, and of course, they are going to talk about bladder failures. And Honeybear is enjoying her... what are those? For some reason I really want to know what are you eating. Some kind of chocolate covered... what are those? Hmm. Chocolate clusters. But yeah, she really seems to enjoy them. So let's have a picture of that too. So guys, this is how the therapy center in Clayfield works and as you can as you can see it's a lot of fun and uh I'm really happy that there is a way to incorporate those uh, uh those <coughs> new skills although <laughs> they are not so new anymore since it has been a, a while since the uh, last last EP for Sims 2 was released but anyway they are new uh, to the game I guess so yeah I'm really happy that there is a way to incorporate those skills uh, to a real uh, profession and to use it creatively as I've mentioned before I really love to love to use those um, those in-game functions as creatively as I can and I'm just going to take a quick picture for the thumbnail and I think we are going to end this episode now guys it's very late in Clayfield it's almost midni midnight and Manda has a lot to do back at home with two little boys who are just about to grow up to toddlers but thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day guys. Bye bye.